Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm excited today uh, to be introducing uh, Rachel DeVerdi of Adobe to describe Adobe Acrobat Sign for Teams. This is not just an integration, it's really the incorporation of an entire workflow, so important for many companies right inside Teams. And uh, I know of companies in the financial service industry and uh, even government agencies who've looked at taking these processes out of email and bringing them into uh, Teams for better security. So I'm really excited that we've got this great integration of Acrobat Sign and Microsoft Teams. Please take it away, Rachel. All right, thanks so much for the introduction. Hi, everybody. I'm Rachel DeVerdi, Principal Product Manager for the Sign ecosystem. So what that means for the folks on the call today is that I manage the uh, Sign integrations into Teams, um, Outlook, Word, and um, PowerPoint, as well as SharePoint. So today I'm gonna talk to you about our integration for Teams. Things to go here. So. What we've done with Teams is we decided to take a slightly different tack than, than some other folks do with integrations. Instead of setting up something like Wait that then takes you back to our application, what we wanted to do was really drive deep collaboration within Teams itself. We know that people are working in Teams, so wouldn't it be nice if everything that they needed to do with Sign was available right where they're working already? So what we've done is we've taken um, our core workflows for Adobe Acrobat Sign, and we've just gone ahead and embedded them directly into Teams. So when you open up the Teams app, um, you see a nice home page. You know, this is a fully featured piece of functionality, and it lets you do the core things that you would want to do within Sign. You can send new documents for signature. You can sign documents yourself that are waiting for you. Um, you can access a fully featured um, management environment where you can see everything that's going on in your your sign workflow and your sign life. Um, it's fully available on mobile. This is through Teams. It's available on mobile for both iOS and Android. Um, and we've added some neat stuff to the integration that isn't even available on the core sign UI. For example, you get real time status updates there on the main page. And we've got a couple, you know, we're continuing to innovate. Um, at the very end here, I'll talk a little bit about Live Sign, which is a really cool feature that we're working on developing now that'll let you actually sign, share and sign documents directly in a Teams meeting. So quick overview of the homepage. Again, it's simple, but it's super powerful. Um, behind the scenes, there's a lot going on that makes it super easy for customers to use. So we are SSO enabled. We are built natively on Azure AD. We can handle um, various different types of SSO protocols. Um, they're, everything is built on the newest APIs. Um, they are fully ready to go for uh, all of the new releases that, that uh, Microsoft is looking to release in early next year. Um, so everything that you see here will actually soon be available for Outlook and Office as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and all of this is is really possible because we work directly with Microsoft. So you've got your home tab that allows you again to do um, the things that you would normally be able to do uh, or be interested in, request signatures, manage agreements. Um, and then we've got this really nice summary on the bottom of the page. Now, uh, one of the cool features that we have is notifications. These are more than just an alert, we actually allow you to take action from the notification itself. Uh, we have two main notifications. We have one, um, when you get something that is ready for you to sign, it will show up in your notifications. Um, and if you click on that, it'll open directly and let you sign it right there. Um, we also get notifications when something has completed the process. And uh, so wouldn't that be nice, you know, to get a notification in Teams to know that someone completed that document that you sent out um, and we also have, uh, you know, the send and manage flows. These, if you have used Acrobat Sign before, these probably look familiar to you because these, these are the same flows. We, what we've done is we've gone ahead and just embedded the full, full featured flow. You can do everything that you could do in Sign itself. You can add additional features. If your Sign account is set up to require, you know, advanced identification or to set reminders, whatever it may be, we reflect that within your Teams environment. It's not different. It's exactly what you're used to. And that's the same with the manage page. You can do all of the actions that you can do on the normal manage page. 
Um, and then, you know, I, I teased a little bit about things that are coming soon. We're working on a feature that we're calling LifeSign um, that will allow you to take any, any document that you need to have signed um, and work on that in the meeting itself. You can, you can uh, you know, serve, serve links and get people to sign those things directly in a meeting. We find that uh, so far customers are super excited about this. You know, everyone's had the experience where you send things out and then it hangs out in an inbox for a week, maybe more as you go back and forth. You know, people always have questions. They can't find your link in the email, like whatever it may be. We think that being able to um, move that process into a face-to-face -face conversation, even in a meeting, is going to be a game changer. So that's something that's coming um, in first half of next year. And uh, happy to, to cover that more in the end. But really what I want to get into today next is... Give me a second here. I want to go ahead and just give you a demo, a live demo of everything that I just showed you. So I'm going to pop over here to Megan Bowen. You've probably seen Megan before. I know she's a popular test <laughs> test user. This is my Microsoft test tenant. Um, and from here, uh, Megan has installed our app. So we show up here on the left hand nav. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It'll open us up. The first thing you probably noticed is there was no request to sign in. There's nothing extra to do. Um, I've already signed on previously. So SSO is set up and it makes things work really easily. So here we are on the native page. Um, and if I was Megan and I was checking in in the beginning of the day, I would probably start up here. There's an overview of my agreements. I know that I've got a bunch of things that are still in progress. Hey, I've got five things that are waiting for me to sign. That's interesting. And then if I want to know more about that, um, I can either go to the manage page, which shows, um, you know, all the details about every single uh, thing. I can open it. I can send a reminder. Um, I can look at what's going on for me, decide what I want to do. Or on the home page, if I'm not quite ready to, to take that action yet, you know, maybe I just, oh, gosh, what's happening here? So I have this nice thing down here at the bottom. Um, where I can look at what's in progress, I can look at what's waiting for me, and I can see the things that are that have been recently completed. Um, now, as far as the course sign workflows, I figured I would just demo that really quick. We've got request signatures here. Um, in this case, I'm going to send something to Alex. So it's as easy as typing him in. I've sent something to him before, so I know what he's doing. I'm going to grab a template. Let's say I want Alex to complete an NDA. Uh, hit next. It's going to ask me to make sure that I've got the right signature fields placed. I do, so that's easy. I can send that through. And then what's going to happen um, is that is going to go out to Alex. Um, and when Alex signs that, it's going to come back through and show me my notification here. Um, let's see. So really quick, I'm going to show you what that looks like for Alex. Go. So now we're over at Alex's screen and he can see under waiting for him that he's got something for Megan. So he's going to click on that. And it's going to open up ready for him to take action. You can just view and sign that directly within the application. All set. You heard a nice ding, which is exactly what I want you to hear. Because if I go back over to Megan, you can see, oh, look at that. She's got a nice activity notification. She can see that Alex completed signing. Um, from here, she can download, she can look at the auto report, she can basically do whatever it is that she might want to do. And she's back over to her sign integration. And now she's, you know, she's kind of done for the day and she wants to move on. Just a couple of other things to note, um, because this is a fully featured app, we've got extra stuff up here. Megan can look at uh, tutorials, she can talk to support, she's got a bunch of user guides and other things that she can do for us. Um, but really, that's that's the uh, the end of the demo. Megan and, and Alex had a happy sign life. I'm going to hand it back to you. So maybe we can uh, take some questions. Thank you very much. Uh, that's awesome. And what's cool about this is Adobe Acrobat is a format of choice 
for legal documents and uh, contracts and all sorts of agreements between um, organizations. And to have this integration with teams to make it easy to prepare, process, track those is uh, super useful. So I um, am just looking here for questions. Um, one is tell us about your plans or current support for uh, FedRAMP moderate. That is a great question and I'm, I'm happy to address it. Um, so we actually have the sign for teams integration fully available for FedRAMP moderate. Um, not available for FedRAMP high yet, but it is fully available for FedRAMP moderate. We have our integrations for teams, Outlook, Word and PowerPoint already available. Um, and then we're going to be working over the next year or so on making SharePoint also available. So if you are a government uh, employee or you're representing, you know, you need you need GCC versions of these apps, they're ready today. Excellent. And <clears throat> my understanding is you have um, more than one government agency currently using the product, so it is being adopted in. Yeah. In yeah, we just moderate. released these. We just released these recently, and so we're we're seeing a you know a slow but steady ramp. Um, right. But I know that we're working with some some fairly large organizations. So, uh, I imagine that whatever we need to do, we will do. I know we're committed to supporting the government sector. Thank you. Um, and uh, you know, people are curious if an organization has adopted Adobe Acrobat. How does but how does it work to add on sign and there's a number of different packages that you can purchase if you are um, an acrobat pro user which probably not many folks on this call are but if you're an acrobat pro user um, you do have access to these integrations and there is oh, an acrobat app uh, there's also an acrobat for teams app that is similarly um, full featured in fact you can do all kinds of cool stuff in it so you know, this is a very cool demo. What are some of the um, enhancements that are being planned? Right. So the first enhancement is what I've already touched on, which is live sign. Um, and so that's the ability in any Teams meeting. Basically, you invite the person that you need to sign your document to the meeting, and you can go ahead and securely serve um, a signing link to that user in the meeting. So that's coming out in the first half of next year. Um, we're also making enhancements to how you kick off the request signature flow. So we've heard from folks that they want to be able to um, to directly access their team's files and you know be able to send anything that they have access to here out for signature. So we're working on a feature to enable that from within the integration itself that will similarly come out in the first half of next year. Um, and then the other uh, other things we have in the works are expanding the languages that we offer this in. So we're going to be expanding to French, German, Japanese, and Korean, um, and happy to take requests for other other languages as we go. But those are the first four that we're going to um, push this out in. Great. Yeah, you're getting a thumbs up from the audience on on those <laughs> languages. Great. Thank you so much, Rachel. Uh, this is awesome, and um, I'm. A big user of Adobe products uh, in the course of my normal job, so I really appreciate this integration. And I know from my um, customers in uh, financial services and government that they are adopting uh, Adobe Acrobat Sign, um, in part because it's a uh, very well uh, uh, provisioned for compliance with various high-end regulations for financial services and uh, and government agencies. Yeah, so I really appreciate team, that. Yeah, our team and, takes security really seriously, and we have a lot of um, financial services, health services, and government uh, customers. Great. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, and uh, look forward to seeing uh, additional collaboration between Microsoft and Adobe. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the opportunity and great to uh, have the chance to demo to you guys today. Cheers.